assalamu alaikum this is zafar saleh welcome to my channel today we will learn about knuckle joint basically knuckle joint have three parts these two views are for the assembly of knuckle joint this is front view and this is top view this part which is like a catapult is fork and this part which is fastened between the two legs of the fork is called eye and the part which is used to fasten the fork and eye is called pin let's move toward the representation of the different dimensions pin has the dia small d d naught is the dia of this circle thickness of the eye circle is t d is the dia of end rod the circular part of eye and circular part of fork have same dia which is d naught legs of the fork have different thickness than the eye which is t1 t is the same dia which is the end rod of the eye let's move toward the failures first we see the failures of pin i draw the top view of the knuckle joint pin may share of like this which is double sharing of pin the pin has dia d so the formula is p is equal to 2 as it is double sharing into cross sectional area of the pin and shear remember write the shear stress of the pin's material next failure is crushing against fork two ends of the fork compress the pin like this t1 is the thickness of the leg of the fork and small d is the dia of pin this part or this part may fail due to the compressive force of the fork now crushing due to the eye in the same way the eye may crush the pin here is formula d is dia of pin and t is thickness so this area would crush next end rods which have dia d here is formula circular cross section area into stress remember end rods of the knuckle joint always fail is tension but in the case of end rods of quarter joint they either fail due to tension or due to compression end rod would fail like this this is cross sectional view circular cross section area into stress next part is i it is the dia of i and this is hole for pin it may shear like this if we turn this part we would see the failure will propagate from the center to the periphery by covering the distance half of d not so half of d not and thickness Two is for the safety purposes. Second failure of I is tensile failure. It may fail like this. Let me draw cross-sectional view. T is thickness of I. Dia of I is D naught. And hole has dia D. concerned area is capital d excluding small d into t let discuss the failure of fork first failure of fork is shearing it is same like the shearing of pin in the eyes failure but in this formula you would put the thickness of fork which is t1 to is for the safety purposes as we know the fork has two legs in the case of failure both will be affected so to compensate it we will put another two next is tensile failure this failure has same formula as the tensile failure of i but here we would use t1 instead of t 2 is for the two legs of the fork these are the failures of knuckle joint if you find this video helpful subscribe the channel for more